Excellent new webinar, Mastering BIM Data, Volume 6. Thanks for joining me today for another exciting presentation. My name is Jelena Petrovic and I'm a senior BIM manager at Bexel Consulting and I'm pleased to present you and guide you through topics which are for today's one hour session reserved for BIM model data verification workflow. And I believe that by the end of the session you will learn how Bexel Manager can help you in MIB model data checks and how this automated process can help you to identify B model data status, overview B model health in such efficient way with the main goal to ensure B model for precise and fluent 3D, 4D and 5D BIM analysis. Here we see general steps for BIM model data verification workflow, which is based on information delivery specification template on an example of high-rise project. They include the following. Federating BIM model within Bexel Manager BIM environment. BIM model properties overview. Existing templates for BIM model data check overview. Customize existing template or create a new one Data check evaluation using Bexel Manager Property Checker module, B model data check results overview using selection sets and color coded custom breakdowns, collaboration with project stakeholders using BCF, create data validation reports, and managing B model elements properties within Bexel Manager. Workflow, which includes a data check within Bexel Manager BIM environment based on standardized information delivery specification, includes following steps. Federating BIM model within Bexel Manager BIM environment. BIM model properties overview. Create IDS based on building smart international standard. Adduced existing IDS. Data check evaluation based on IDS using Bexel Manager Property Checker module. B model data check results overview using selection sets and color coded custom breakdowns. Collaboration with project stakeholders using BCF. Create data validation reports. And managing B model elements properties within Bexel Manager. Once the data checks are done within Bexel Manager desktop application, we can extend data validation workflow to our common data environment and utilize all the existing features our cloud-based solutions include. It includes following steps. Publishing Bexel Manager BIM model to the cloud as a new project version or updating existing project version. Create interactive Power BI dashboards and visualizations with the BIM model data check results and BIM model health overview within Power BI dashboard. Data check results overview within Bexel common data environment and collaboration with project stakeholders. Before we start with today's topic, let me briefly introduce with our company. Bexel Consulting is software development and consulting company with extensive experience of using BIM in construction and technology developed to provide overall project construction management. With almost two decades of software development experience, our flagship product is BIM management software, Bexel Manager. Our consulting services are used on a global level for the last 15 years and Bexel software solutions are presented in 72 countries worldwide and used for managing more than 6,500 projects. For more information about us and our software ecosystem, visit our webpage where you can request a free trial version of the desktop application and trial versions of our cloud-based solutions, which include the Bexel Viewer, Bexel Docs, Bexel FM and Portfolio Manager. Visit our help center with detailed explanations for features and tools of Bexel Manager. For all existing users with Bexel Manager licenses, there still is Bexel user area, which is frequently updated and refreshed with the latest demo models, template scripts and additional materials available for free download and use. Just to remind you that you can send your comments and questions in the chat section of the streaming platform you are using. My colleagues will make sure to answer all your questions by the end of the session. 
B model of our project is, let me say, information database with a visual representation. And we can agree that uh, data management is very important. So Bexel Manager, as an integrated BIM management platform, allows experts to manage and inspect BIM data of any project using number of options. Today, we will go through automated BIM data check processes. For this purpose, we will use Bexel Property Checker module, where I will explain two processes. One is verification of BIM model data quality, based on BIM queries using templates according to Project Information Delivery Specification, so-called IDS. And in the second case, we will do automated IDS check where BIM queries are based on International Building Smart standard. Here we have one project version opened within Bexel Manager BIM environment, and this project is the one used during last session when I have explained data enrichment workflow and how we can actually manage properties within Bexel Manager BIM environment and our cloud-based solutions. This model is federated BIM model created from IFC files which originates from Autodesk Revit Authoring 2, Bexel Sample Projects 2 Towers. Data verification process can be done using Bexel features that can help us to have a quick overview of our B model, elements it contains, element properties overview, and we can explore B model spatial structure, create color coded custom breakdowns uh, with the rules based on element properties, and have an overview of property values and many other options. During last session, we went through data enrichment process and we saw how to manage properties using Bexel ecosystem and how we can overview our B model on the cloud with whole property layer it contains and explore through interactive Power BI dashboards. Automation of B model verification process using property checker module can provide us significant results where we can perform standardized or customized BIM checks based on any information delivery specification. To activate Property Checker module, go to Add-in section and click on Property Checker command. It appears down here by default, but we can organize our layout as we need. There are already some check results here, which I have evaluated preparing for this session, but uh, if validation process has not been run, uh, all fields we see here would be empty until the required document, template or standardized IDS is not imported. Now I'm going to explain how data verification process works within our ecosystem. As I mentioned earlier, to check our B model we can use templates which are completely customizable and uh, which are based on rules we define within them. So once when we create uh, our own template or adjust existing, it can be reused on any other project where we want to check model using same rules. These rules are actually based on information delivery specification. Existing data check templates you can find within Bexel Manager knowledge base, but templates uh, we are using can be saved on any location on local computer, so just browse desired location where the template is previously saved. I will open one custom template I saved locally to explain how it actually works, what it contains and what we are going to check. The template is uh, one Excel spreadsheet where we define check rules based on our B model. Using this template, we can check B model element properties, existence of properties, property types, and their values. We can check if properties are in particular property set or property group, and if properties values are within a defined range or have a specific value. The file contains several sheets and the first important sheet is this one named Project Information, where we define which property values will be used for B model check and how the results will be sorted. So, in this case, we will use a property IFC entity. What this means? Our check is based on values of defined property, just like IFC BIM, IFC slabs, IFC walls, and for each of these IFC entities, we define which properties will be checked and rules for them. 
I want to mention here one more really useful option where we define project phases. So uh, properties can be checked through different phases, which are predefined here in information delivery specification. So here we list phases our project includes. Here are some conclusions. The position of this sheet must be on the first place. First row must stay unchanged. It is necessary to define the name of the property that will be used to read the names of the element types from the model, and it is required to list phases in order of their execution. I will skip these two sheets and come back to them in a while. OK, now when we have defined which property is going to be used, like IFC entity in our case, for each of values of this property, we want to check we create separated sheet where there will be defined rules for property check. This means our template can contain only several sheets related to IFC entity value, like just uh, IFC walls, IFC slabs. Uh, here I have included uh, more IFC entity property values, so that is the reason why we have so many sheets here. Now I'm going to jump to one IFC entity with value IFC slab, for example, where we define properties which should be included in model check evaluation. So what we should define here? First common is reserved for defining property or parameter name that is going to be checked. Within second column, it is specified to which property set or property group certain properties should be included. Third column defines the value type for each property, if it is uh, text, boolean, area, length, volume. And additionally, we can define in which design stage or project phase specific properties should exist. Our B model doesn't need to have all properties in concept design phase, but most should be defined in facility maintenance project phase. So that's why it is uh, good to have defined project phase for each of these properties. I want to mark uh, one important information related to defining phases and how it works uh, in data check process. Uh, for each subsequent phase, all conditions uh, from the previous phase must be met. So, for example, for facility maintenance project phase, Bexel will also check all other properties since the FM phase uh, is defined as the last project phase. If uh, there is a defined set of values that property can have, then it is necessary to define the key in a column F. Values with uh, this key will be read from the sheet pick list from column E. OK, here, for example, uh, we will check if elements IFC slab has property uniform at assembly code, which is within property set Bexel edit, and with values uh, which uh, matches with key name, in our case, uniformat value. This is defined within pick list. Uh, we will go there, and here we see uh, this list uh, related to, to key we used for our slabs, and if there are elements uh, with the different property values uh, which are not included in this list, we will be notified within uh, validation check results. I will go back to IFC slab sheet and uh, to continue, if uh, there is a defined range of values that property can have, then it is necessary to define the condition in column E. I will define, uh, just like an example, to check elements condition like uh, slabs which have uh, property value gross area uh, greater than 100 uh, squared meters. Uh, within help sheet, you can find out uh, condition examples and how you can define queries that can be used for B model check. And to conclude here, uh, when we talk about segment of our template where we define check rules, uh, the sheet names must uh, match the value of the property which was defined in the project information sheet. First row shouldn't be changed. 
it is mandatory to define values within column A to D, including parameter name, property set, value type, and construction phase. Coleman's condition and key are not mandatory. Sheet pick list must be in the same place as uh, it is in a template. Before I go further with uh, explaining this template and data ver verification process, I want to quickly stop here and overview one of uh, the results of uh, data check process, which is uh, certainly Power BI Interactive Dashboard. Uh, I will continue explaining the process later for sure, but uh, just to understand better what we have actually defined uh, within our template. So, after the property check results are evaluated within Bexel Manager desktop application and the project version is uploaded to our cloud-based solutions, we can uh, publish uh, a Power BI report from Bexel Manager and uh, overview results on the web. Here we see published Power BI dashboard based on property check results and property data check template was used. And as we define within our template used for B model property check, we have complete overview of B model elements properties condition, of course only properties which were defined to be checked within created information delivery specification. So we can filter model elements by property used for check. In our case, it was IFC entity uh, is the one which was used. And uh, I will filter only IFC slabs. We see complete overview of B model check results, including properties, property sets, property condition, and property values. And we have uh, defined within our IDS template condition. So we have simple overview of slabs, which has gross area greater than 100 square meters. And if we check property uniform at assembly code, we can see which elements are without this property, which elements uh, satisfy defined values within predefined list of values. Now, when we have uh, these results, we can inform project participants responsible for resolving detected issues, and uh, we can share these reports with them. If they have certain access rights, they could uh, overview the model within Bexel Common Data Environment when, where this report uh, could be uploaded. And of course, we can share results of sending BCF file. Okay, this was about property data check. I will go back to our template and uh, what uh, we can also check is uh, naming of specific data based on a defined regex pattern, including check of uh, family names, uh, sources names, building names, and building story names. Within property naming convention sheet, where we define rules for property naming that should be followed, it is necessary to define the category name in a common A the naming pattern in column B and the property which uh, values will be checked in column E in the second row. The property values uh, will be checked based on defined regex pattern. Here you can find the links uh, which can help you to create correct regex pattern as a rule which will be used during validation process. Within project naming convention sheet, uh, where we define rules for specific domain naming check, like sources, buildings, and stories, it is necessary to define a domain in a common A, like sources, buildings, and stories. There should be also defined within common B property, which will be checked, property which is related to each defined domain. And finally, there should be defined naming pattern in a column C. All names used for, for the domain uh, defined in column A will be checked. So, so here we see some naming patterns uh, defined based on which uh, check, our model check will be done. Let's overview how it looks within uh, uh, 
a published report related to project naming check results. And now we have an overview of detected issues related to naming of uh, project sources, buildings and building levels. We can inform in early project phases designers or responsible project participants to resolve detected issues just on time, even before project comes to later phases. When the template for data check is ready, with simple click on import command within property checker module, uh, we find the previously saved file on a local computer, template file with previously defined checking rules and the load template into our system. Before we evaluate data check, we should choose for which project phase uh, properties will be checked and also we can choose to evaluate all rules or just selected one or several of them. Use control button on a keyboard for multi-selecting. Also, we can do check for all elements but uh, for selected elements only. I will uh, do property check for entire project. Just click on evaluate command and here it is, the uh, process is started. Speed of data check process depends on the project size, of course, and on the complexity of defined data check rules. Just to remind you that uh, once you create template with defined rules for data check, it can be reused on any other project or existing template could uh, satisfy your project data check needs. So you do not need to change anything or you could make some small changes on it. Once the process is finished, we can explore gathered results within property checker module. In the common results, uh, different uh, colored flags are shown and uh, each of these of colors which appears uh, means something. So we have options like for yellow flag, uh, red and green flag. Uh, our flag is uh, yellow. That means that uh, there are warnings for this uh, element type uh, that uh, there is missing property values or wrong property types are classified as warnings. Red flag means that uh, there are failed results and uh, green flag means that the check was completely successful. Also, here we can overview a total number of checked property values, the number of past property values and success percentage of property values check. Once the check process is completed, uh, selection sets from these results can be created, including creation of selection sets for all or just selected rules only. I will create selection sets only for slabs and walls, for example, for property check and selection sets for checking results related to project and property naming conversion. So we click here on create selection set command and choose only for selected rule option. If we click uh, directly to this command, there will be created selection sets uh, for all existing rules. Of course, I have already marked here uh, which, uh, which rules will be uh, used for selection sets creation. Now we can check what we have got within selection set module. Here there are selection sets uh, created within property checker results folder for each rule which was marked in property checker module to be used for their creation. And each of these subfolders contains selection sets with elements that do not satisfy required information defined in IDS specification. There is one more option here which really helps uh, in previously checked results overview. It is automated creation of custom breakdowns. So click on generate statistic custom breakdown and uh, wait for a while until the process is finished. During this process, there will be automatically created related color-coded custom breakdowns, but also selection sets with statistic results. So, we can overview results in different predefined colors with uh, defined threshold values depending on results and detected issues. 
based on defined information delivery specification used for data check. Now, when we have created selection sets, we can use them to collaborate with other project stakeholders using BCF Manager. Just pick desired selection set, and uh, which is actually result of our property check, and uh, drop it down here within BCF Manager. We can save the file and send to responsible person to check and uh, or resolve detected issue. BCF stands for BIM Collaboration Format and uh, it is an international open standard developed and maintained by Building Smart International. BCF is available in almost all BIM software tools. This infographic is intended to improve coordination in a model-based workflows. Now I'm going to publish our project to the cloud as a new project version, so we will be able to overview results on the cloud as well. Go to Bexel Common Data Environment tab and click on New Version command. The Publishing Wizard opens where we follow steps for publishing our project version to the cloud. First, we choose project where our new version, uh, project version will be published and find project within drop-down list. Here we define project version name and click on Next command. Now we define publishing options. I will publish all elements our project includes. We should define how our project will be divided on the cloud. There are three options, divide by source, by categories and by selection sets. I will divide our model by selection set folder, so B model will be divided in multi-levels by buildings and type of works. Go to next command and here we choose which selection sets will be published. I will choose to publish selection sets created as a result of our data check process. Also I will check all other existing selection sets so we will have them on the cloud as well. Now we define custom breakdowns uh, that will be published to the cloud with our new project version. I will mark all of them. Most of them are created during our previous sessions, but we also have custom breakdowns created automatically as uh, one of the results of our data check process. Finally, we select schedules, so animation will uh, be also available within our online project version. These animations were creating uh, during previous sessions, but uh, I do not see problem to have them online also. Click on finish command and wait for a while until the process uh, of uh, project version publishing is finished. Once the process is finished, we will be notified by email and uh, we go to Bexel Common Data Environment. Within listed projects, uh, we find our sample to towers project and within project version list, we find project version we have just published and open it or just click on link received as an email notification that new project version is published. Now the project version can be explored within Bexel Viewer online. OK, what we have here? The project version is opened and I'm going to load all sources. Someone who opens this online project version have an overview of uh, results uh, we have got during uh, uh, data check process within our desktop publication and uh, can explore B model using custom breakdowns uh, those which were created as a property check results. Also, the model element properties inspection is available. Properties inspection allows us to overview B model and select B model elements using desired properties and their values. Go to filtering option and overview values of desired property. I have uploaded two Power BI dashboards I have previously presented today and anyone with certain access rights uh, can assess to them and see data check results. If we use uh, this filtering option on the right side uh, here and uh, check false uh, for uh, has property option within table below, we can overview all missing properties related to different IFC entities 
properties that are required within IDS specification. And we can also overview which exact elements uh, are missing certain property. Let's go back to Bexel Common Data Environment. Within listed and uploaded selection sets, we can also find check results for which selection sets were created. It is possible also, even here within our cloud-based solution, uh, to create a BCF collaboration file and exchange data with other project stakeholders. Select desired elements, like I have selected IFC slabs, uh, which do not have defined uniform at assembly code property within required property set. Go to BCF collaboration command uh, here within viewer and choose Save BCF file. Here we enter the information about detected issue, like name, priority, to who is this issue assigned to, deadline for resolving, topic type and status, and comment. Click on Save and BCF file is saved locally and ready to be shared. Custom breakdowns are available here, so we can simply uh, select and overview elements with detected issues. Now, I'm going back to Bexel Manager desktop application to explain uh, how we can check our B model using IDS file with the defined specification where model check filters and requirements are defined. Information Delivery Specification IDS is computer interpretable document that defines the exchange requirements for model-based exchange. It defines how objects, classifications, properties and even values and units need to be delivered and exchanged. IDS brings validation of IFC to the client, the modeler and the software tools to perform automated analysis. IDS is the solution for predictable and reliable data exchange workflows. For today's demonstration data check workflow based on IDS, I have created one IDS file using available tools like IDS editors are, and here we can overview what is specified within IDS I'm going to use for our B model data check. Do not worry, IDS editor interfaces are more user-friendly and uh, this is an overview with the notepad what the IDS file contains. But using existing tools for creating, editing, downloading, sharing IDS, uh, you do not need to have knowledge about writing codes. It, it is pretty much simple for use once when you understand how it actually works. During IDS creation process, we should define general information IDS would include. We define filtering options including IFC classes, uh, which should be checked, but also predefined type of them could be included. Requirements can be defined for IFC class, for part, for classification, attribute, property, and material. For each of them, we define parameters uh, that B model should include. Here we see, uh, for an example, for requirements for property. We define mode of requirement like uh, having, optional having, not having, name of or pattern of pop property, data type, if it is IFC integer, IFC identifier, IFC boolean, and so on. We define value type, if it is string, integer, decimal, uh, date, time, date, boolean. Also, in which property set the property is included, property set name or pattern. Here, for example, for IFC class, IFC slab, I have specified that uh, slabs must contain dimension properties like volume, area and parameter, also, properties related to construction phases, uniform classification, and properties related to type of work. Ceramic tiles and concrete materials should be detected and roof covering. Naming convention must be followed. This IDS specification includes uh, some requirements for slabs, uh, walls, doors, windows, beams, columns, and coverings. 
Now we can import uh, these creative ideas in our system. We go back to Bexel Manager Desktop Application. Property Checker with the previously evaluated results is active. To import IDS, we click on Import IDS command and browse location on local computer where the IDS file with defined requirements is saved. Click on Open command and file is loaded. Now we need to evaluate process, same as with the template I have explained earlier. Just click on Evaluate command and wait for a while until the process of data check is finished. So, until we are waiting, I want to mention once again that you do not need to evaluate all rules at the same time and uh, the duration of data check evaluation depends on complexity of certain B model as well as on how detailed IDS is specified. Once the process is finished, we can create selection sets automatically for all rules or just some of them and uh, this time I will create selection sets for all jobs we have here with uh, just click on create selection sets command. Within selection set folder property check results there is new subfolder created automatically with property check results we have previously evaluated. Here we have for all IFC classes defined uh, in IDS specification selection sets created with simple messages, so we have an overview of B-model element property status. Like here we see, for example, for IFC slab, uh, that property gross area is not defined in property group required within our IDS. We can isolate elements in 3D viewport, and also we can create BCF file with uh, detected issues and send to responsible project stakeholders. I will update custom breakdowns related to property check results and we just click on generate custom breakdowns and as a result previously created custom breakdowns will be overwritten. Custom breakdowns are let me say updated with this section so we can select and overview elements with uh, detected issues based on requirements defined within previously loaded IDS and we can use these custom breakdowns as a color schema in our Power BI reports as well. Let's publish a new project version to the cloud with the latest data check results uh, we go to Bexel Common Data Environment tab and click on New Version command. The Publishing Wizard opens where we follow the steps for publishing our project version to the cloud, the same as I previously explained today. First, we choose Project where our new project version will be published and uh, find Project within the drop down list. Then, we define Project version name, even if the name stays the same. Uh, the project version will be published uh, on a cloud uh, as a new one. We click on next command and now we define publishing options. I will publish all elements our project includes. We should define how our B model uh, will be divided. I will divide our model by selection set folder, so by buildings and type of works. The same options uh, as I said during uh, publishing uh, previous project version to the cloud. Go to next command and here we choose which selection sets will be published. I will choose to publish selection sets created as a result of our data check processes both processes, so we will have uh, within uh, this project uh, version an overview uh, even of previously detected issues uh, as uh, properties our B model include are basically the same. I will not publish selection sets related to data enrichment process created during previous sessions and uh, now when we click on next we should define custom breakdowns that will be published to the cloud with our uh, new project version. I will mark all of them including custom breakdowns created automatically from the latest data check process. Finally we select schedule animations uh, and I will check all of them to have them on the cloud as well. 
click on finish and wait for a while until uh, the project version publishing process is finished. We will be notified when the process is finished and uh, to mention here once again duration of publishing process depends on the project complexity so when we talk about large-scale projects uh, stay patient. Now we can go back to Bexel Common Data Environment to overview our new project version on the cloud. Within project list I find uh, our sample project to towers and uh, I will open the latest published version with a simple click here on open command. Uh, also within uh, manage project version list uh, we can open all previously published project versions and the latest one of course. We need to load sources again. Maybe this time I can load only structural works. Uh, there is search option so I can simply type uh, here structural and all sources uh, which include uh, this word will be listed. So I uh, will mark only them uh, which, uh, which are related to structural works. And as our B model was divided in multi-levels during publishing process, it allows us uh, to load only desired segment of the B model to be reviewed on the cloud. Like uh, here I am loading only structural works. Also, duration of loading sources depends on their size, so it will take more time to load sources with uh, larger size. Pay attention about sources information uh, which, uh, which we have available here. Uh, beside number of elements and uploaded date, we have information about sources size. And here it is, we have data check results uploaded in the form of selection sets and uh, new custom breakdowns. It is the same as I mentioned earlier, anyone with access rights can overview this model on the cloud with the latest selection sets at custom breakdown related to the latest data check. And now when the sources are loaded, we can overview results of our data check. Has property custom breakdown is uh, active uh, to have a better overview of elements uh, which are in different colors. Uh, so if element passed the check or the number of missing properties is within defined range, we have different colors here. If we go to selection sets related to the latest data check evaluation, here we can uh, select elements uh, like IFC slabs, which do not have a property, uh, for example, gross area defined within a property set which was required in IDS specification. Also, when we check uh, IFC walls, uh, here we can detect that, uh, for example, property gross volume is not defined within certain property set required within IDS. We can isolate these elements also and see them within viewer, but also create BCF file and send to responsible stakeholder to check this detected issue. We click on BCF collaboration command here and uh, choose uh, save BCF file. We enter required information like name, priority, deadline, topic type and status and comment. Click on save and BCF file is saved automatically on our local computer. Now we can send this issue in different ways by email, upload into a grid location and so on. Within documents module I can upload IDS specification so anyone with certain access rights for using Bexel Docs can overview B model requirements related to this check. Click on add file and enter the comment here. Now we browse desired location for uploading uh, uh, file from the local computer. With checking command, our IDS specification uh, with B model requirements is uploaded on the cloud and available for overview depending on defined user access rights. 
Now I go back to Bexel Manager Desktop application to publish one Power BI report. Uh, there are three uh, Power BI data track templates which include Bexel Online Viewer, but also there are templates without Viewer. I will use the one where Viewer is included. So we go to Publish Report with Bexel Viewer command, and here we choose Property Checking Results. There are three templates. Uh, these two templates related uh, to property data check and project naming convention check I have already presented today with results of data check in the first case when I used Bexel template to evaluate model check results. Uh, there is also this one uh, which relates to naming check results. I'm going to export property data check report but this time there will be included results gathered from the latest property check we have here based on a standardized IDS file where requirements for our B model were defined. Click on Export Template and Power BI Export Wizard opens. We could export uh, only data uh, if we have already Power BI template exported, even customized one. As we explained during previous webinars, uh, how we can customize existing Power BI templates and utilize them to project-specific needs. First, we select project and project version and double check option to autoload models. Click on the next command and here we choose custom breakdowns our BIM model contains, including those uh, which are going to be used as a color schema within our Power BI report with uh, property checker results. Click on finish command and enter uh, desired location uh, where you want to save the template on your local computer. Of course, we define the report name. Let's call it just property data check. Click on Save command and data publishing process is started. Once the process is finished, we can open previously defined file location and uh, open the template. What we need to do is to refresh the data. Just click on Refresh command and process is started. And here we have the data loaded into our report. I will publish uh, this report to the web right now, so we will be able to overview report including Bexel Viewer Visual and of course our B model within it. Click on Publish option and follow the steps for publishing. Now we have report available uh, on uh, Power BI web application within browser. To create embedded report, click on File command and from drop-down list choose Embedded Report option and within uh, it we click on Publish to the web public. This is an information. Uh, we are going to embed report in a public website. If you really want to do that, click on Continue command. Once it is published, anyone with the link uh, will be able to assess it on the Internet. Click on Publish and we get link for embed report uh, which is publicly available. Here is the link which uh, can be opened in browser where our report, which includes related data check results, will be available for overview. OK, this Power BI dashboard is the report where we have results of property data check using standard Building Smart IDS. And uh, here we can easily filter B model elements and overview what is detected as an issue, or maybe even it is not an issue but mistake that occurred maybe during B model development process, but still uh, it is good to be detected right on time when the project is in earlier phases. So it could be resolved. On the left side uh, here, we have filtering options for IFC classes uh, that uh, uh, were defined uh, to be checked and also all required properties defined within IDS specification can be filtered using this visual on the left side down here. Our IDS includes 34 properties to be checked at total, 
but each of them is not related to the same IFC class. And now if I filter only uh, windows, IFC windows, uh, down here required properties are listed, but also within uh, the data check uh, analysis we have uh, here on the right side of this table, we have a detailed overview of properties of our data check. So we can conclude that all windows do not have properties overall height and overall width. Let me check slabs. I will filter just IFC slabs class and on the right side we uh, can use filtering options that were checked during verification process. Uh, if I check false, we will have complete overview which properties didn't satisfy the requirements defined within IDS. When we click on each of these properties in data check table, like cross area, for example, we have complete overview of exact elements uh, that are without uh, this property. Here we can see that there are not slabs with property parameter at all and uniform at assembly code and uniform at assembly description are missing on some of them. We can see uh, which elements uh, are without these uh, properties here in a Bexel visual. What is going on with the balls? Here we can overview which exact elements are without the defined property gross footprint area or some of them do not have defined gross volume or height. If I check true for has property filtering option, here we can overview that all properties that were checked has value and proper value type. Selection sets are also available here within Bexel Visual and we can use them to select elements especially those selection sets that are a result of our data check process. If we play animation, which was available within our BIM model and published to the cloud, the animation which was created uh, on some of our previous sessions, and the uh, color schema is uh, uh, set uh, as has property, we can overview elements in different colors as animation goes, and select desired element and overview property check results for it. I want to conclude for the end of today's session that the current situation in construction industry is definitely getting progressively better from year to year, but still we are missing automation of some of the processes. There still is work which is done manually and repetitively increasing possibility for mistakes which uh, in this industry can be very expensive and can affect final deadlines. So the solution could be standardizing processes, utilizing automation and using advanced BIM tools to eliminate the repetitive processes and decrease human errors. When we all rely on open data format for different construction projects and if we are using open BIM standards, we can be sure that all participants on the project can easily exchange respective information. Today I have presented how we can automate data verification processes within Bexel ecosystem and how we can track our BIM model health using standardized documents for data validation. This was all from my side for today. Thank you all for your attention. I want to invite you to join our next webinar, Mastering BIM Data Volume 7, on the 29th of November, where we will summarize what was actually presented on Bexel previous webinars with the main topic uh, 4D, 5D BIM in pre-design phase. So stay tuned and have a nice rest of the day.